Wow. Hi, Clay. Hey, Ricky. How you doing? I'm good. So you look happy. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. You look pretty happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to be. Um, so my name is Clay, and we're here with iStand TV. We're here with Ricky Schroeder. Um, star... Oh, you're too young to know who I am. Come on. Silver spoons. Yeah, but you're like 28, right? <laughs> How'd you, 27? 27. So you must, you saw it on YouTube. You didn't see the real deal, but it's okay. I'll forgive it. I mean, you're 28. I have a 24 year old son, so I feel like I'm talking to my son practically. I appreciate it. I can see the resemblance. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, so you've had a pretty awesome career. I mean, when did you start acting? I started when I was five years old. I'm from New York. I'm from, I was raised in Staten Island, New York, and I came into the city to do print work. Before the internet, I would do catalog of shoots for Sears and JC Penney's, and that evolved into TV commercials, and then I, my first movie, The Champ, when I was seven years old. Wow, what has that journey been like for you personally? Well, it's my life. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've just sort of worked my whole life, and it's such an important part of me, you know, because I don't really remember a time before uh, work, before this entertainment, this storytelling that I do and I love what I do and it's not often that you know I get to do a project like Code of Many Colors where you truly love the script. It's not it's special um, because you know I've been around now gosh I'm 45 so 40 years ago I started um, and this is one of my favorite projects in that 40 years. No kidding that's awesome well I love the film so I'm, I can see why it's your favorite project. Can I ask you what attracted you to the role of Robert Lee Parton? Yeah, so Lee Parton, um, I loved, you know, showing the sensitivity of a tough man who when he loses a child, how it affects him. And, you know, it's something that went through, we went through in my family, and I have four kids, and I, my wife had a late-term miscarriage, and it just, when I read that script, I just literally just punched me in the stomach, and I brought back all those feelings, and, you know, I called Sam up, the exec producer, and I said, Sam, I know this guy. Like, I, I've lived this guy, and so I'm in. And, you know, I like that journey that he went on from being pissed and bitter at God to, um, you know, to come into peace with it. What are some of the themes that you, thank you for that, by the way, that was really personal. What were some of the themes that you pulled from this film? Um, I, just you know, I, I mean, I, I, know, I we all know that family is everything, right? But this just, this just kind of that's what this film is about. It's about, you know, it's, it's about the richness of a family that's dirt poor, but they're rich in love, and, you know, she came from a place of love, and you know, it's part of the reason Dolly is who Dolly is because she was given so much love, um, as a child. And so I, I guess, you know, the theme is, you know, just pull together when adversity strikes, as it will, you know, in every family at some point. And, you know, you either pull together or you pull apart, one or the other. For sure, for sure. Uh, given the climate of the world that we're in today, mm. could use a lot more love. Yeah. What are some of your hopes for this film, uh, for the viewers who are going to watch it? Oh, I hope everyone just is entertained and touched and, you know, I think young kids will get something from this movie. And when I say young, I mean, I think the six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old kids are going to get a lot from this movie and this story. And I think the parents and the grandparents are going to get, uh, take away things as well. And, and the young people, you know, the teenagers, it's, it's a movie for everybody to sit down literally and I think be entertained and to be touched. Yeah. Um, you mentioned one of the themes, faith. Uh, what role has faith played in your life? Um, it's been up and down, you know, kind of like it's it's a it's it's kind of a relationship that it sometimes works better than others, and you know it's a relationship that's you know sometimes even complicated. Um, but I do know whenever adversity strikes, you know, I start praying. The trick is to not just wait till adversity strikes to start praying, but to like, you know, to pray for things proactively. When things are going good, and 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 and, and, and you want things to, you know, and be even richer. Let's say you don't just go to to prayer and when you're in when you're in turmoil and when you're in anxiety, and so um, it's it's a 
been an important part of my life. You know, I, I, I wouldn't say I pros, proselytized anybody or I don't talk about it much at all. You know, and, you know, I'm like the epitome of what Jesus said, you know, go pray in the closet and don't let anybody see what you do. And that's just, you know, don't do it for man. And that's, that's how I follow my faith. What should our audience be looking out for? What do you got coming up? Coat of Many Colors. I'm very proud of this movie. And um, I recently just produced a project that's recently come out that I'm very proud of and I still like to talk about. It's called The Fighting Season. And I was in Afghanistan for four months documenting what's going on over there. And I may be doing more of that um, with the upcoming, you know, uh, conflict that uh, America and the world uh, is engaged in against radical terrorists so I may be doing more content like that so I'm I'm talking with various organizations like the Air Force and the Army about potential embeds and where can our viewers catch what you've done uh, right now the fighting season is on uh, direct TV and it's also on iTunes and Amazon Ricky thank you so much thank you